Great day, my dear grade 7 learners. I am your learning buddy, Teacher Lady Lynn and Rakid at the LA Teacher in Mataka National High School. We will have an engaging and fun learning activities in the world of TLE. For this learning episode, all I have you to do is focus, watch, and listen as I will present activities that you will surely love to learn. Our specialized subject is bread and pastry production. It will provide you knowledge and skills that will help you in the future. Before we move on to our lesson, let us have a recap of our lesson last week. Very good! Yes, different tools and equipment used in baking. The right tools and equipment are necessary to achieve any target. The incompatible and insufficient equipment can result in total failure. Perfect baking demands, baking skills, the right tools, and a precise recipe. Before we start our lesson, let us have a game. It is called Spot What is Wrong. I will show you a baked failed product. You will think what are the reasons why the baked product failed. And you will tell me what will you do in order for you to produce quality baked product. I will give you one minute. I will give you one minute. Timer starts now. Time is up. What do you think are the reasons why the baked product failed? If your answer is over mixing, wrong oven temperature, wrong baking wares or pans, and inaccurate measurement of ingredients, you are all correct. If you were a baker, what will you do in order for you to produce quality baked product? If your answer is not to overmix the mixture, use the right oven temperature, use the right baking wear surface, and measure the ingredients accurately. Very good! You are correct! Before we start our lesson, let us know what is our target objective. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to Differentiate dry and liquid ingredients. Enumerate the different types of dry and liquid ingredients in baking. Demonstrate the steps in measuring dry and liquid ingredients. And appreciate the importance of measuring baking ingredients accurately. So, what do you think is our topic for today? Okay, let us see if your answer is correct. That's right! Our lesson for today is about measuring by volume in dry and liquid ingredients accurately. Let us first define what is dry ingredients. Dry ingredients is used in baking. It is something that is dry. There is no water or moisture on it. The different dry ingredients are flour, granulated sugar, brown sugar, yeast, baking powder, and baking soda. In measuring flour, we are going to sift first the flour. 
scoop to fill the measuring cup to overflow. Take note, do not shake. Then, level off using spatula. In measuring granulated sugar or white sugar, first, sifting is not necessary before measuring it unless it is lumpy. Next, fill the measuring cup until overflowing. Take note again, do not shake the cup. Third, level off with the spatula. In measuring brown sugar, check if the sugar is lumpy before measuring. If it is lumpy, roll out the lumps and again remove the dirt. Next, scoop into the measuring cup and pack compactly until it follows the shape when inverted, just like in the picture. Then third, level off using spatula. In measuring powdered food, like baking powder in baking soda, first, you are going to dip the measuring spoon into the powder. And level with spatula or back edge of the knife or right in the can opening. Let us define what is liquid ingredients. Liquids are necessary in baked goods for hydrating protein, starch, and leavening agents. When hydration occurs, Water is absorbed in the chemical changes necessary for structure and texture development can take place. Liquids contribute moistness to the texture and improve the mouthfeel of baked products. When water vaporizes in a butter or dough, the steam expands the air cells, increasing the final volume of the product. So what are the different liquid ingredients? water, milk, and oil. In measuring liquid ingredients like water, milk, or oil, first, measuring cup liquid ingredients need to be measured at eye level. Then, you are going to pour the liquid in the glass measuring cup. Second, Check if it is filled up to the measuring mark. Third, do not lift the cup when measuring. That are the proper way of measuring dry and liquid ingredients. So now, we will have an activity. It is named Amo or Iti. You already know that Amo and Diri is a rinconado word which is your mother tongue. Amo means yes and Diri no. So now, you are going to tell me a move if the video presented is a proper way of measuring. And Diri, if improper way of measuring. Are you ready? Okay, very good. Let's start now. Number 1. Shaking while measuring dry ingredients. Number 2. Lifting the measuring cup while measuring liquid ingredients. Number three, measuring liquid ingredients in eye level. Number four, remove excess ingredients by leveling of spatula. Number five, sift the floor to remove lump and other foreign materials. <laughs> If your answer in number one is Dere, you are correct because in the first place, the flour is sifted to remove lumps. If your answer in number two is Dere, you are correct because in measuring liquid ingredients, it should be eye level. If your answer in number three is Amo, you are correct. If your answer in number 4 is Amo, you are correct. If your answer in number 5 is Amo, you are correct. Congratulations, class! Now, let us have 
a test. Write the name of the local recipe and list down all the ingredients. After listing the ingredients, identify each ingredient if it is dry or liquid ingredients. Number 2. From your listed ingredients, choose one and write the steps on how to measure it accurately. Then number 3. If you were a baker, what do you think are the importance of measuring ingredients accurately? You will pass your test in our Google Classroom. And for your assignment, you are going to choose one ingredient in Takanin recipe in your area. You are going to showcase or demonstrate the proper way on how to measure. For students with smartphone and internet access, you are going to present a 2-3 to three minute video demo. For students with smartphone, internet access, and with TikTok account, you are going to present a 1 minute video demo. For students with smartphone and without internet or data, you're going to present your output by using photo story. And for those students without smartphone, without internet access or data, you are going to present it by using comic or drawing. And you are going to submit it on Friday. Here is the performance rubrics. The criteria are steps, and creativity or effort. If all the steps were carried out correctly, you will be given 15 points. If only two or one steps were carried out correctly, you will be given 10 points. If no step was carried out correctly, you will be given 5 points. In criteria for creativity or effort, if you put full creativity and effort into this activity, you will be given 15 points. If you put some creativity and effort into this activity, you will be given 10 points. If you put little or no creativity and effort into this activity, you will be given 5 points. Overall, the highest points is 30, and the lowest point will be 10 points. So, good luck, class! Let me end this learning episode with this quote from Donald Rumsfeld. Be precise. A lack of precision is dangerous when the margin of error is small. Baking is a science. In science, accuracy counts. Precisely, measuring ingredients makes a difference of how your recipe turned out. Accuracy is everything and could mean the difference between success and failure. So class, let's measure accurately and efficiently.